The members of the Oxysyllabus Research Community form an international group of investigative scientists, therapists, performing artists, and educators who have unified their efforts in order to correlate biomechanical research findings and empirical data with human therapeutic, athletic, and artistic training and healing methods. In our assessment, the typical ways in which human beings are currently being physically prepared for their lives is often ignorant or outright rejects the integration of biomechanical principles. Principles which, when observed, promote the breath cycle, strengthen bones and muscles while helping to metabolize nutrition, and assist in evacuation and regeneration. The study and application of these same principles allow for the acquisition of harmonious, well-adapted, injury-sparing reflexes that build a bridge of awareness from the inner to the external environment. As with the earth, so each of us has a choice to examine our relationship with our own body and weigh the potential outcomes of habit and traditional approaches to managing, cultivating, and rehabilitating it. The human body is an interdependent mini-ecosystem with finite resources and specific operating parameters. It is, like the rest of life on this planet, a representative model of the same forces that shape the physiological attributes of other animals. The evidence of these forces can not only be seen in the architecture of anatomical structures, but also in structurally supported movement patterns. Since the body's resources are limited, ignorant, abusive, or neglectful treatment will place its longevity in jeopardy, and hence reduce its expressive potential, either immediately or eventually. When habits are developed that do not allow for adequate nutrition and rest, and when these habits do not make use of the support value of the skeleton, or squander opportunities for efficient kinetic energy generation and deployment, basic functions can be inhibited placing the practicing person in immediate and long-term risk of injury and disease. Enhancing the development of accurate space-time perception, critical and associative thought, and offering ample opportunities to examine identity constructs. The age-old practice of the art of dancing provides a sociological context for the acquisition of these and other important attributes that can prepare the individual for respectful and creative interaction with other people. The application of the scientific method to dance training, physiotherapy, and athleticism reveals the primary universal importance of the educational and salutary value of moving well, often, and creatively. From neurological development to practical ethics, from basic hygiene to balanced diet discipline, we feel strongly that movement training is not only a human right, but a basic necessity and should be considered a building block subject of any meaningful pedagogical effort. The foundation of our present and future world, scientific research has provided working explanations of functional anatomy that give clear guidelines for human movement training methodology. 
By nature of their social position, it is incumbent upon those who lead to found their exercise routines, pedagogical tactics, and aesthetic movement choices on a competent understanding of the workings of the human body. For the educator or project leader, the process of information transmission offers the chance to implement various forms of democratic leadership, for example, facilitation, individualization, open-handed counsel, and non-violent communication techniques. From the ordinary walk through the park to a disciplined jog, from the study of sophisticated dance vocabularies to theatrical or conceptual artistic exploration, human activity is enhanced or inhibited by the degree of kinetic intelligence and individual adaptation skills. When the basis of all approaches stem from the application of science, the reasons for the choice of tactics is self-evident, enhancing the potential for collegial collaboration. In other words, movement students, performing artists, athletes, teachers and creative project leaders can be seen as the managers of resources that are proper to us. Social awareness, creativity, muscular and kinetic energy, anatomical knowledge, applied physics, health, and safe fun. From Africa to Eurasia, from North to South America, our efforts to demonstrate the scientific grounds for the unilateral study and practice of sociokinetic skills have spawned a growing community of like-minded movement enthusiasts who have become part of the powerful global trend towards the recognition of humanity's common needs and inalienable rights, of which strength, health, and moving gracefully are among the most fundamental. <laughs>